When you log into the AWS Management Console for the first time, you're going to see a screen that looks similar to this one. This is your gateway to the hundreds of different services that AWS offers to you to build up your IT infrastructure. One of the first things you might look at is up in the upper right hand corner, there's a drop down that has a list of regions. Regions have names like North Virginia, Ohio, North California, and Oregon. Each region represents a demographic area that probably includes several states and many data centers within that region. The data centers are referred to as availability zones and there are several in each region. Let's go explore that now. If you type in to the search box EC2, short for Elastic Cloud Compute, you will go to the EC2 dashboard. And if you scroll down, you will see a list of availability zones for North Virginia. And so here we see that there's one, two, three, four, five, six availability zones. And an availability zone is one or more data centers. Let's see how many are in other regions. So if I go to Ohio and scroll down, I see that there are three availability zones there. And if I go to Northern California, there are just two availability zones, which is curious being that there are so many famous technology companies in Northern California, but it is what it is. Let's explore some other things. I'm going to click on the upper left hand corner here and go back to the main management console and let's talk about the services. One way to look for services that you want to use is to click on this link right here and here you can see many different services probably at least a hundred and chances are if you were to click on any of these items that there are going to be other services available within that menu for example if I click in EC2 um, there are lots of different things and resources that I can create over here on the left hand side now how do you learn to use these resources well one of the best things you can do is to Google AWS documentation and then click on that link and you'll see a page that looks like this I highly recommend using the AWS documentation to learn how to use any of the AWS services. This documentation is fantastic. Another thing that you might want to learn a little bit more about is the AWS global infrastructure that we started off talking about. Again, you could do a search and then look for, there's two different links here. One is kind of like a general promotional page and one's more of the uh, actual documentation. So select the one that has docs in its link and if you go there you'll get a very rich description of the AWS global infrastructure.